Hello traders, I'm back again with new video clips. Today I'm going to go through the most important aspect of financial trading, which is the risk management. I'll give you a demonstration using the risk management tool. The risk management tool is free of charge, so everyone can download and use them. And please feel free to visit our website and download this free risk management tool. Um, so for risk management tool, we'll just give you a simple demonstration with our harmonic pattern plus and other technical indicator setups and uh, we'll play around with the basic function of risk management tool first um, so here uh, I loaded up with my harmonic pattern plus with uh, indicator setups um, as you see um, there are six buttons for risk management tools the one button uh, X and M are the two buttons to control appearance of the uh, risk management tool. If you click X, it will disappear. If you click M, then it will reappear again. And the four arrow buttons uh, below can control the location of this risk management tool. So if you click, uh, then you can move around this risk management tool and put them in the different locations. Right, so uh, if you type numbers in take profit in point box, then it will calculate your reward per trade immediately. And if you type uh, stop loss in point box, uh, then it will calculate your risk per trade. But the important thing is this risk per trade is always tied to this risk per balance. For example, if you're risking. Uh, 1% of your balance, of which is this, which is 49.10, then your risk per trade will be 49.10. If you are risking 2% of your balance, then it will doubles up your risk per trade, which is now 98.19 US dollar. Right? And then your last size, of course, will increase. So you, you, your last size will be now 1.28. And the same for 3% risk per balance and 4% risk per balance and uh, I recommend you to use uh, between 1% and up to 5% any risk per balance but obviously more risk you take your tradings are uh, you know become more riskier so think uh, think carefully which risk per balance you're going to use it right um, that's the basic functionality of uh, the our risk management tool. As one thing I forgot to tell you is, uh, you can actually control this take profit and the stop loss by just clicking these uh, buttons here as well. Without typing, you can still uh, control those uh, calculations using uh, these buttons. Uh, now I'm going to show you actually how to apply this uh, risk management tool in real trading setups. But however, please note that this is only educational uh, video clips and uh, we just want to show you uh, the simple setups so, you, know, you can uh, maybe use in the future for your own tradings. Um, so. For stop losses, um, there are two ways of using uh, applying the uh, determining stop losses values. The one is geometric, and the other one is volatility. So, uh, the geometric method is uh, you can use uh, this one way of doing it, and uh, uh, geometric method use to determine the stop loss um, any potential support and resistance level you can identify identify from your chart so any technical indicators or price action uh, indicators can be used to identify support or resistance level on your chart and those support and resistance level can be your stop loss target and the important thing here is that 
you need to give some margins above or below your potential stops and this is to avoid some market noise below your trading setup uh, near the support or resistance level uh, because sometimes markets intentionally move quite a uh, noisy manner around support and resistance level that is just to take your you know your stop losses so it's better to have uh, some buffers around your stop loss range so um, for demonstration, I'm going to use Bollinger Band uh, just to show you its setups at uh, 20 period with deviation 3. And uh, um, so let's check whether if we have some setups. Uh, this is not particularly. Uh, fresh setups because already patterns are formed a long time ago so I'll find something else um, not this one not this one uh, let's have a look okay so here we have a, a shark patterns formed uh, quite a large shark patterns formed on the uh, Kiwi, uh, Swiss franc. Um, yes, also our RSI and CCI values indicate quite uh, high readings. Uh, so just indicating the overbought conditions. So there might be some chance that you know this uh, price will fall down. So we're going to target sell trade in this time. Um, so we will using we're going to use a geometric uh, geometric uh, stop loss identification method. So we're going to use this upper line of Bollinger Band to target our stop losses. So let's do it quickly. Click there, and from current Bollinger Band level to current price, we have a roughly uh, twelve pips uh, distance. However, as I mentioned, you need to always apply some margins because you know that uh, Bollinger, Land, uh, Bollinger Band lines um, might uh, the price might move around quite noisy manner around this Bollinger Band line. So we'll give you some margins, enough margins to avoid those uh, uh, noisy. Uh, so if you go here. Uh, as you see, we were having nearly uh, 13 pips, right? So we give you about 30% margins and uh, 13 pips. That will be nearly 17 pips away. So if you go here and make it appear, let's let's bring it back. So about we will apply about 16.9 which is 169 pips um, yeah and our take profit level let's aim for just uh, for educational purpose let's aim for uh, 23.6 that will be uh, nearly 645 uh, point yeah so 645 point. So our risk is 49.10 US dollar, and our reward will be 187.38 US dollar, which is pretty good. Uh, but we can make this as a risk per balance as 2%. So now we will risk 98.919 US dollar, but our reward can be 374.76 US dollar, which is really good reward. And uh, the last size we should apply is 0 0.58. The next thing you should do is just go your tools and new orders and go to the sell market and change your uh, volumes to 0 0.58. And set the stop loss and take profit and just click sell market, then the order will be executed. But just for education purposes, we'll hold them here. So, um, So that is uh, 
that is our geometric volatility setups. But also you can set up your stop loss using uh, uh, volatility uh, indicators like ATR or gauge or other volatility predictors. The volatility predictor it predicts the range of the market. We can use this uh, information to set up our stop losses too. Um, in the case of uh, this volatility stop loss, uh, just like uh, margins, you need to apply multiplier because you often need to multiply the volatility value with uh, a multiplier of 2 or 3. Here I'll give you a quick demonstration with ATR indicator with a multiplier of uh, uh, say 2. Say this is ATR indicator with a period of 14 and I'll load it up and uh, this will roughly give you around uh, 12, 12 pips uh, range value for uh, Kiwi franc and hourly time frames right so the procedure is the same so you go to the spreadsheet and uh, we just type 12 pips and with two multipliers will be 240 pips so if you want to give three multipliers it will be 360 pips so if you go and type say 360 pips your last size will will be 0.27 and uh, we know that when it target 23.6% retracement this is roughly 653 point so time 653 point um, then when you apply risk per balance 2% our last size will be 0.27% so we can just make one order uh, with a note point two seven, two seven, and I'll show you the easiest way of setting your stop loss and take profit. So for sell market and go here and modify or delete and just type the stop loss point which is 360 and uh, 650, uh, 653 as your take profit. Then you will get automatically uh, your stop loss and take profit set. So you can check. Um, oh, sorry, I'll, I'll touch it. Okay, so you can check. Uh, check that your take profit is here and your stop loss is uh, somewhere but above. You can't see it. Uh, but because of this, is chart. Um, so. Okay, this is uh, just a simple demonstration on the um, our uh, setting up the stop loss uh, using our risk management tools. So, so important thing here is you need to apply margins and the multipliers. Yeah, that's uh, you can create some simple Excel spreadsheet like this to do the, the jobs. Um, you can do that. Can um, so this was just a simple uh, demonstration for educational purpose. So for more information, you can always visit our website uh, harmonicpatternsucos.co.uk. Yep. Or uh, well, you can email me if you have any questions. Um, okay. Um, thanks so much for your uh, attending for this video. Uh, clips and then we will see you again with uh, another video clips then thank you